Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Zero Mission. So last time we started the game and got through Brinstar, our first trip through Brinstar, and made it to uh, Norfair. So now let's go ahead and move on. So Norfair is a lot like, um, like it is in Super Metroid, or at least I think that's, uh, nor yeah, it is a lot like Norfair and Super Metroid, and it is, uh, I guess it's kind of identical to Ridley's hideout in, um, the original Metroid or whatever they called it there. So anyway, up here we got this missile expansion, and you can come back and get this when you have, uh, a future power-up, but might as well get it now, since we're cool like that. But all you have to do is lay a bunch of bombs, and eventually you'll propel yourself up there. But it takes a little few tries to get up there because you have, you have to get it just right. So, and if you're trying to do this and you find yourself just going nowhere, then you just have to start over and adjust your bomb speed a little bit. Okay. Almost there. Yep, there we go. See? Missile tank acquired. But, I mean. You don't have to get it now, but I guess it just saves a little bit of time. Okay, so if we just keep heading to the left. Now, you might have noticed that there was a door to the right in the save room, but we couldn't do very much in that room anyway, so you have to actually go left in Norfair before you can go to the right. Um, and then you want to come to the left here. And now we're in Criteria, and, uh, this definitely reminds me of the, the uh, Super Metroid Criteria, or Criteria, whatever it is, Criteria. Because it kind of has that, like, spooky little omniscient feeling. But if you see that block up there, if you, sh you can't really shoot that or anything, or bomb it in this case. So we actually can't go that path, so we just have to keep going here. And then you see we got this missile expansion down here being blocked by this block, but can't do much there either. So, what's this? An unknown item? What? Analysis inconclusive. Item incompatible with current suit. Oh, okay. Well, that kind of blows. So actually, any unknown... Any unknown items that you get, you won't be able to actually use until basically near the end of the game, which kind of sucks. And now we can get this missile tank. See, we're already up to 40 missiles, which is good. It's actually very good. So now we can actually bomb this block right here. And then jump, 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 and into this bird's mouth. Just like Super Mario Brothers 2. Okay, so now that we fall into this thing, there's no way to get back up, really. I mean, you could try to wall jump your way back up there. But you'll find that the crumbly blocks are kind of blocking your path. So you actually just have to go through here. Whoops. And you actually want to fall to the right. Or push the left button as you fall down there. Okay, and here we get the power grip. Cool. Grab and hang from ledges and corners. Cool. So this is something that you automatically have in Metroid Fusion, but they give you on this one as a power-up. So one thing you could do here to kind of save you, whoops, kind of save you a little bit of time is it just start wall jumping and then you can grab onto one of these ledges and that just saves you a little bit of time if you're trying to go for a fast ending which I'm not, I mean if I do, if I do get a fast ending then I guess I get a fast ending and if not then oh well so this area does make use of that uh, ledge grab or power grip and if we just fall down here we see our ship from the beginning cutscene and you can get into this and it'll refill your health and it'll also allow you to save. 
as it does in every single Metroid game that features it. So we can't do everything, or we can't do anything over there. And so I guess we're just gonna have to come back this way. And basically, all this really does is just loop back to uh, Norfair. That's because we need the power grip in the room to the left, or to the right of that same room that we were in. Okay, so let's go back down to Norfair. And before we go to that save room, we want to come down here. Because in this room right here, there is a missile tank. So I might as well get it now, while we're here. Because I really doubt we'll be going back that way anytime soon. Yep, missile tank. So now we're up to 45. Excellent. Now, they do give you the, the option to get a lot of missile tanks at the beginning of the game. Which, I don't really use missiles for normal enemies. I just use them mainly for bosses or enemies that take a little more. As you'll see later. Whoops. Screw you. Okay. Um, alright. Just had to look at my little list. I actually have kind of an outline thing. Um, that basically tells me when to get certain items. That way I don't get things at an inconvenient time. So now let's just go back to the save room and then might as well save while we're here. Just in case I happen to die. Which it's, it's not likely, but it's not impossible. Alright, so this is why you couldn't get here, because you need to grip and get on this ledge. And since we couldn't do that before, we could not get through this room. So... Yeah, and those things that are on the ground can only be destroyed by missiles, so... Yep, that's one of the few enemies in this... well... I'm not going to say there's only a few enemies that require you to kill them with missiles, but they're just one of those enemies. Dang it. Why did they put that there? It kind of makes no sense. And yes, this is the one we want to go through. Now here, basically if you just fall from certain ledges, you'll just grip right onto other ones. So that's kind of a pretty cool thing that they put in here. And then here we get the Ice Beam. Cool. This beam can freeze enemies in place. You can safely stand on frozen enemies. Cool. Go and heal just to make sure. Alright. Now what we have to do is bomb our way over here. And now we can freeze enemies and jump on them and get over certain places. And I believe all that's in here is a save. So, uh, I don't really think I need it right now. And then we could just use these guys to get up here. So, and the, 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 like the bead room design, that's kind of, uh, you see that in Super Metroid. Whoops. Ah, screw it. Okay, so here's another one of these map Chozo statues. And it wants us to go back up to Bryn Star and down to a place called Kraid. Hmm. Ooh. I wonder what could possibly be there. <laughs> Alright. So... Now we have to use these guys to get over this lava... area. Come on, unfreeze. Free... no. Freeze. No. Free... no. Dang you. There we go. Thank you. Whoops. Okay, now you don't have to use these guys. You can just wall jump your way up there. Dang it. Ah, come on. 
There we go. And then over here, in here, we actually got another missile expansion just right here. Dang it. Oh, come on. Alright, fine. Be that way. Okay. So... Ooh, we kind of like did a weird jump there to get past that guy. So we can't go in this room, and I'll show you why. Because it's a super heated room, and double. If you go into a room like a room like that without a certain suit, your health will just slowly start draining. So that's not very good. All right, so now we need to head back to Brinstar. But first. If we let this guy go and then freeze him, we can jump up here and get another missile expansion. Jeez, we're just getting these things like crazy. Alright, so... Back to Burnstar. Now, one thing I like about Metroid games is it requires you, it requires you to go back to certain areas. Or basically, you don't go to one area just once. You go to an area multiple times throughout the game, which is one thing I really like. So, now we can freeze these guys and get back up here. And back to Brinstar we go. Okay. Um, I just need to look at something real quick. Okay. Okay, so there's actually a missile tank that I know we can get now that we have the power grip. Die. Mm, it's just a lot of backtracking, nothing really to talk about. You know, that's that's basically the only thing I don't like about Let's Playing, is when you can't think of anything to say, and it's just kind of like, uh, what do I say? But, yeah. Uh, now, but basically we need to get back to the blue shaft to get this uh, missile expansion, or missile tank that I'm talking about. Um, Okay. And if uh, I can't remember, okay, here it is. Freeze this guy, jump over here, bomb this, and then whoa, die. What do we got? More parasites? No, fall. Shriek bats. Those things suck. Yeah, I like these slow, crumbly blocks because they give you a chance to uh, react. Okay, here's our missile tank. And what do we got here? Ooh, speed boost. Hmm, that one seems like it's going to be hard to get. And uh, that expansion is actually a future weapon that you get. Um, so, where are we at? Okay. I know what I can do real quick. Now, basically, there's an energy tank that you can get here that basically you can't get it later but if we just do our crazy bomb technique as I call it should be able to get it yep yep there we go and there's another energy tank cool beans and that's another one where we kinda sequence break to get it but at least it saves us a trip back here alright guys well I'm gonna save and then I'm just gonna end this part here next time let's play Metroid Zero Mission we will go to that area called Kraid. So see you guys next time. Bye.